In my book, I tell the story of Bomber Command in Lincolnshire, from the early days of the war when they were flying Hamdens, through to the 41 and 42 campaigns when they were flying Wellingtons, better known as Wimpies. But the book isn't just about the hardware, it's really about the squadrons and the men who served in them, and the women who provided such valuable support services. It looks at everyday life on the stations and also follows the career of some men who were taken prisoners of war. Men from Lincolnshire played a key role in the Great Escape. With the aid of maps and photos, the book then looks at the years after 1943, when men from Lincolnshire were flying deep into the heart in the Reich. First they flew in four-engine Stirlings, but later on, of course, they adopted the great and the mighty Lancaster, which equipped most of the squadrons in the county. But of course, not all the men came back, and this book deals with the tragic and heavy toll paid by bomber crews out of Lincolnshire. Of course, the most famous bombing raid flown from Lincolnshire was the Dam Busters raid, flown by a 617 squadron out of Scampton. After the war, this memorial to the 617 squadron was erected at Woodhall Spa, where they were based towards the end of the war. The Dam Busters get a chapter to themselves, complete with maps and photos of the Myrna Dam and the other targets. The men of Bomber Command have not been forgotten. Most airfields have got a memorial, other airfields still stage fly paths or have a museum, especially the one at Metheringham. Uh, here at Metheringham Airfield uh, we've got a rather interesting museum. You will see behind me a quarter size Lancaster and this is uh, an excellent exhibit for us because it was Lancasters that flew from this station and one uh, squadron basically, that was 106 squadron, who were based here from approximately October 43 to June uh, 45. 